What is going on guys, I'm Steven and welcome to my tutorial on how to root the Galaxy Note 4 and how to install a custom recovery on it. Now as you may know my main phone is actually the OnePlus One, but unfortunately I was a bit drunk on the weekend and I've lost it so it's gone and instead of the OnePlus One I now have the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Now this is an original phone, not a Chinese phone because I do a lot of Chinese smartphone reviews, but anyway I want to do and review some other tutorials and also compare it with some fake clones from China. So stay tuned for some awesome videos and now guys let's get started and let's see how we can root and install a custom recovery on the Galaxy Note 4. Now to root the Galaxy Note 4 and install a custom recovery on it, you just need the smartphone and a USB cable and a PC running Windows with internet connection to download all the necessary files. So I'm just using here the standard USB cable which comes with the smartphone and yeah, that's just all you need. Now let me show you how to put the phone into downloading mode because this is the most important step. Now to put the smartphone into downloading mode, you have to press the power button, which you can see on the right side of the smartphone, the volume down button on the left side of the smartphone, and the home button, which you can see here at the bottom of the smartphone at the same time. The smartphone has to be off, so completely off, not just the display, and then you press the power button, the home button, and the volume down button at the same time. Now just hold the buttons and keep them pressed until it vibrates and you come to this screen here. So here we'll see a warning, a custom OS can cause critical problems in phone and installed applications. Also it may void your warranty. So only do this if you understand what you're doing to your device. And if you want to continue, just press volume up like me. Or if you don't want to continue because you don't want to void your warranty, then just press volume down. If you press volume up to continue, it will take you into downloading mode. Now I also need to tell you that this will trigger your NOX counter. You can see here in the left top corner NOX warranty void 0x0. That means your device is completely stock. Now if you flash a custom recovery or root your smartphone, it will go from 0x0 to 0x1. That means you cannot use NOX anymore. If you don't know what NOX is, check out the link down below in the description. It's basically some security application which makes your smartphone very secure. For instance, if you're in an IT business, and it requires NOX and don't do this. You cannot undo this and once it's triggered you cannot undo this. And also this may void the warranty because Samsung can check this too and then they know you have rooted your smartphone or you have installed a custom ROM. So just make sure you don't need this or you don't care and then continue with the tutorial. Okay guys, so we're now here on the computer and first of all let me show you what software you need to download in order to root it and install the custom recovery. So you will have to download and install Samsung Keys free. This is the official Samsung suit and this makes sure that the drivers are installed on your system. Because if the drivers are not installed correctly, the Odin flashing tool will maybe not recognize your smartphone. So this is really important, make sure you download and install it. And as always the download link is down below in the description, so just click download and install it. Also you will find all the other download links down below in the description, so just check it out. Now the next thing you should download is the Odin flashing tool. Preferable use version 3.10 because this is fully compatible with the Galaxy Note 4. So make sure you download this too, okay? Now to extract it, you will need WinRAR and you can download this from winrar.com, I guess. The link is down below in the description. And then you can do a right click on the zip file and go to extract here, okay? This will create a folder which is called Odin 3.10. And let me quickly show you the download link because this looks a little bit strange. Now you come here to the Odin web page and here are some download links at the top. But those are just fake download links so they will open up an exe file. And this exe file just installs malware on your computer. So don't use this download link here. Just go down here and somewhere in the text there's a hidden download link and this is actually the real download link. So this is a little bit crazy but this here is the zip file you're going to use. And don't use um, the download links here at the top. Okay, my internet crashed. But anyway, let's just go back here. And after you have downloaded the Odin flashing tool, you can also download the Chainfire Auto Root. Just make sure you download the correct one for your model number. So here we have the SMN910F. So that's the Samsung model N910F. And this is exactly my Galaxy Note 4. If you have a different version, you will need to download a different Chainfire Auto Root zip. Okay guys, so after you've downloaded the CF Auto Root zip, you have to extract it. So just double click it. And there are many files in here and you can see those are just the Odin files. So we also have them in the 3.10 folder. We don't need here 3.07. And we just need the Chainfire Auto Root.tar.md5 file. 
So what we're going to do is we just drag and drop this here out to our desktop. And here on the desktop you should now have the chain fire auto root dot tar dot md5 file. So the ending here is important because otherwise it's not recognized in the Odin flashing tool. Okay, now it's time to choose a custom recovery. And basically there are three important types. There is CWM recovery, TWRP recovery and Phil's touch recovery. My favorite one is Phil's touch. So I will flash Phil's touch to my Galaxy Note 4. But the most common one is CWM and this doesn't have any touch functions. So with Phil's touch recovery, I think it's a bit better. It's also, in my opinion, a bit better than TWRP, but that's just my personal opinion. It's really cool because you can use the touch screen and you cannot do this in CWM. But also TWRP is touchscreen compatible, but basically the functions are pretty much the same. The basic functions are the same on all recoveries. So it's totally up to you what you're going to choose. You can choose TWRP, CWM or Phil's touch. So just make sure you check out the links down below in the description because I will leave one for TWRP, CWM or Phil's Touch. So just pick one, download it and then we can go and flash the smartphone. Okay guys, now first of all we're going to root the smartphone. So we will use Odin and the Chainfire Auto Root tool. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start Odin version 3.10 as administrator. So do right click on that, go to run as administrator and click yes if it doesn't pop up and then you're in the Odin flashing tool. Now what you have to do is you go to AP and you have to load the chainfire.tar.mda file. Oh sorry, md5. And um, if you're using an older version of Odin you will probably have here um, PDA. So this is the same button like AP. So just make sure you hit that button and you load the chainfire auto root.tar.md5 file. Now you just go here to open, it will check the file and if everything was successful, you will just have here a tick mark, okay? Now also make sure auto reboot is ticked and F reset time is ticked, so false reset time. And what we're going to do now is connect the smartphone in downloading mode. So once again, as I've shown you at the beginning of this video, bring your smartphone into downloading mode and connect it to your computer using the USB cable. So I will do this right now, just give me a second. Okay, and after you have connected the Note 4, there should pop up in COM port in the Odin flashing tool, and if it is highlighted blue, then everything is correct. The Note 4 is properly connected to the Odin flashing tool, and now we can hit the start button, so let's just go. And this will flash the Chainfire auto root to the Note 4, and this will just take something like 30 seconds, so just be patient, don't pull the cable. And after this has been completed, you will see a red Android, on the smartphone, it will say something like rebooting in 10 seconds. So just be patient, wait until the phone reboots and then disconnect it from the computer. And then we can have a look at the Note 4 and let's see if it is rooted. Now after a short reboot, you should be in Android and it looks completely the same, but you can find the SuperSU application under apps. And this is super user on the first start, it will ask you to update the binaries. Just press normal because we don't have a custom recovery right now. And the second question will maybe be, want to remove NOX. So you can press a yes or no. This depends if you want to have it removed or not. Okay, so after you've done this, you can download the root check application from the Google Play Store. Now just run it and go to verify root. And if everything was successful, you should now see congratulations, this device has root access. And that means we can continue and install our custom recovery. So let's go back to the PC. Okay, so now it's time to flash the recovery. You just have to make sure that you have the recovery which is compatible for the Note 4 in the tar format or in the tar.md5 format just like the Chainfire Auto Root. Now it basically works the same like we did with the Chainfire Auto Root. We just open up Odin again, run as administrator, so there we go. And here make sure uh, once again Auto Reboot is ticked, F Reset Time is ticked and you just go here to AP or PDA. And you just browse here for the recovery file. So it must be somewhere here. Phil's touch .tar.md5 or here the cwm.tar file. Basically um, both recoveries are working, but I will choose here Phil's touch. Let's go to open. It will now check MD5 and if the file is okay, it will say success. And now before you can hit the start button, you have to make sure your smartphone is in downloading mode. So bring the Note 4 into downloading mode then connect it to the computer with the USB cable. Once again, the COM port should lighten up here. So just give me a second. And boom, there we go. COM port and it should light up here in blue. That means everything is okay. You can press the start button. 
and it should download the recovery to the Note 4. This can take up to 1 minute so just be patient, but after 30 seconds or something you should be done, you should see pass on the screen, and pass means we can disconnect the smartphone, and now let's see if we can boot the recovery, so let's go guys. Now to boot into recovery, you have to make sure your device is turned off, so completely off, not just the screen, and now you have to press a button combo again, so make sure you press the power button, the volume up button, and the home button at the same time and keep them pressed just like you enter downloading mode. Okay, so let's just do this, so let's wait, 3, 2, 1, and there we go. And when you can see some lines in the left top corner, you can already release your fingers, and then just wait a couple of seconds, and then it'll boot into the recovery. Okay, yeah, we're now here in Phil's Touch Recovery 6. And now you can see what I really like about this recovery, because it looks great, and you can use the touch screen, and you can also use the volume rockers to navigate here through the menu. So for me, Phil's touch recovery is actually perfect. It comes with all the options you want to have in a recovery, and you also have the possibility to install zip files, wipe the whole system, data, whatever you want to do. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to use it to install a custom ROM on your Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Okay, now to leave the recovery, just go to Reboot System now here at the top, and then just press the power button to reboot the system, and it will boot back into Android. So yeah, it's really easy, but yeah, there are some risks. You could break the smartphone, so you do all this at your own risk. But the process is actually very easy, so just stay tuned for the next videos. We'll just install Android L Preview, so Cyanogen Mod, the latest build, onto the Galaxy Note 4. So as always guys, thanks for watching, and I hope I see you again in my next videos. Bye bye.